guys welcome back to the channel we got some breaking news for you some very important information here for you air canada could shut down operations within days that means caribbean flights could be affected will be affected if that shutdown actually occurs. We have breaking news to begin a development in the Air Canada contract dispute that sounds a warning for you if you have travel plans as of this coming weekend. Air Canada is saying now in a release just out this morning that it is preparing for a major disruption in its flying schedule, saying it's getting ready to wind down flight operations if there's no deal with the airline pilots. Air Canada is warning of an orderly shutdown of its flying program potentially before the end of the week. On Monday morning, the flag carrier issued a strongly worded statement in response to a long running labor dispute. It said talks with the Airline Pilots Association are nearing an impasse, citing the organization's excessive wage demands. Meetings between the union and the airline are ongoing but the company warned that the parties remain far from an agreement. Unless a deal is reached from Sunday, September 15th, either party may issue a 72 hour strike or lockout notice. The company says this will trigger its wind down plan. Bosses at Air Canada and its subsidiary Air Canada Rouge are preparing to gradually suspend flights over three days. It says these preparations, which affect around 670 daily departures, are now being finalized. And for places like St. Vincent and the Grenadines, that could spell disaster when the tourism season reopens. What is the union saying? For its part, ALPA says that Air Canada pilots are working on the pay rates and quality of life provisions negotiated in 2014 with improvements long overdue. Last month, the union said its members are prepared for any outcome, citing a five million grant from ALP's war chest on August 22nd, its pilots voted for strike action if no agreement is reached. If realized, the move would see most of Air Canada's operations suspended with a total shutdown effective within three days of the start of the winding down period. Michael Russo, Air Canada's president and CEO, described the prospect of an orderly shutdown as an extremely difficult decision that was considered in response to an increasingly likely work stoppage among ALPA pilots. He said it is the only responsible course available to the airline. Air Canada believes there is still time to reach an agreement with our pilot group, provided ALPA moderates its wage demands, which far exceed average Canadian wage increases, Russo added. The parties have been in discussions for around 15 months, despite reaching a tentative position on many elements of the new collective agreements. Wages have been a sticking point, and ALP represents more than 5,200 pilots at the Canadian flag carrier. Many of you may have booked flights already. You need to go and check it out to see what's happening. Call your travel agents, call Air Canada, so that you could see what's taking place. You can know what's happening with that flight you may have already booked. So this is breaking news coming off from a Canadian wire service that Air Canada could shut down operation within days. Share the video, subscribe to the channel for more information like this, all right?